Hello everyone, hope you are doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to add PayPal button on Google Sites. First, you want to go onto Google Sites. Then from there, you can select your website or you can choose to create a new website. For example, I will select this one that I had created earlier. Once you have selected your Google Site website, you are going to go on PayPal and you want to sign in to your account. Once you have signed into your account, you are going to tap on the settings cog in the top right hand corner. After you have selected the settings cog, what I want you to do next, you are going to tap on seller tools from the top menu option. After you have selected that, you will be redirected to this page. And you are going to scroll down and you are going to select PayPal buttons. After selecting PayPal buttons, you will be redirected to a new dashboard. And you can see that you have four different options. You can either select the smart buttons, which will give customers the option to pay with PayPal, Venmo, PayPal credit, and other major credit cards and debit cards. And you can also select buy now, or you could select the add to cart button. So you have different options. For example, if I were to select the Buy Now button, after you have done that, you can simply scroll down. And if you would like to add a product, you could add the product name and the product price right here. After you have done that, you can choose the button size as you can see right here. And you can see how the button looks right there. And if you'd like to also add optional tracking, you can do that. And you can also include tax and shipping if you want. Once you have done all of that, you can tap on create button. Let me do that real quick. So I'm going to enter a product name. I'll simply name this product test. Then I'll set a price of, for example, $100. Then you can scroll down. You can select whether you'd want a buy now button or a pay now button. Once everything is to your liking, you're going to tap on save and create. And then you can tap on copy code. So let's do that real quick. Once you have copied the code, you're going to go back into Google Sites. Then from there, you can select the section that you would like to add your code. Let's say right here. And you're going to go over to the right hand menu option. Tap on embed. From there, you're going to select embed code. And you could paste in the HTML code right there. And you could tap on next. Then you are going to see a preview of the button. And you could tap on insert. And you can see the button right there. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. And thank you for watching.